uh, James, how's the uh, sleep camp going? Uh, it's going really fine. Everything turned out good last night. Um, there were no problems here. And um, there were 70 people that stayed here last night. That's a record. And uh, we're expecting even more tonight. Um, this protest is going really well. And um, as you can see, we have tents over here. There's 15 tents. But most of the people that came in last night um, don't have tents, so we let them sleep on the ground. And um, the security was good, and we had no problem with that. And when the, the protesters got up this morning, they went ahead and cleaned up their own mess and made it look all nice and everything, and they packed up their stuff and went. And uh, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks good to me, you know, yeah. clean and neat. And, and they're having a meeting in there, the commissioner's meeting, uh, and I guess the man from the weekly, I think he's from the weekly, don't quote me on that, but he went in there and he's going to let us know some info when he comes out, what, what's being said, and um, um, I heard that maybe by, um, was it Labor Day? coming up? Is it Labor Day? Well, anyway, yeah, Labor Day coming up that uh, we might hear something, and I'm hoping that we can have this uh, thing going on here for a time, and at least until then, so we find out something that we're checking also on some designated areas to go to, and they're being investigated right now to find out if these are appropriate places for us, and um, we're going to expand this protest and um, it's going to branch out and that's what we're working on right now. Are the police leaving you alone? Uh, we haven't been harassed by any police. Um, there were some people that slept on the top over here over the rails that are, weren't a part of our group and they decided to come in and they made a little bit of mess but we went in and cleaned it up so that there was no problem. We don't want anything blamed on us, and it's not from people that are in our sleep protests. Okay. Uh, what do you need in the way of donations? We would take any kind of donations that, um, you know, we don't want no uh, what do you, mobile home pulled up here or nothing like that. But we, we could take money donations. We have a treasurer. Um, that would help. We are taking food donations, canned foods, pro, uh, would be better because we don't, you know, have a way to keep a lot of uh, foods fresh and everything. Um, but we do have somebody, we have a cook and a kitchen helper, and they are making and preparing meals for people. And um, we can also use a donation of folding chairs and more tents. Tents are the main thing that we really need to put these people in and house them on the protests.